Hey guys, here is the teardown of the uh, Grizzly G0752 uh, lathe and it uh, wasn't a good place to put a tripod so I'm using a uh, head mount so the video might be a little jerky. But I'm going to start here with the cross slide. And you have uh, two nuts right here that are 14 millimeter. So make sure you don't lose them because this has to go back on. That was actually really loose. I haven't used the lathe in a while. Um, so we'll put that up there. Not sure what that washer was for, but we'll save it. Uh, but here is the OEM one. actually take a bit more effort. So there's a punch pin. I'll have to Yeah, there is a punch pin. Oh, it's definitely not that one.
just, uh, <clears throat> I think they're called spring pens. I used a four millimeter punch to knock that out. So this is now free. Keep those over there. So there's two bolts that hold this block in. that uh, had a little bit of rust behind it. first and this screw right here holds this plastic guide I guess Okay, I had to go grab a metric set of T-handles. Uh, we'll try 5 mil. Oh, maybe 6. Oh, that was 5.5, so 6. So, these two right here. Are six millimeter. Fuck. Ah, oh, there it goes. Um. So now you can see the this part the, that does the Z axis is loose and no longer engaging the the gear rack right here. So we should be good to go. I'll leave those in there like that. Okay. Okay, so this is actually metal. And this goes under here and screws into this hole right here. Uh, I thought there was two of them. I'm running out of room. Oh, I see. Okay.
now that I have proper metric ones. So then these two are five millimeter. And um, the one on the left hand side actually screws into this plate, which prevents it from lifting. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one back down. So five millimeter for these two and six for these two. <clears throat> Six. And that's pretty much it, I think, as far as getting this stripped down. Um, you don't see anything else. Okay, well, uh, I'll call this one good. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I could. Uh, I don't know that I wanna pull the slide off. The gibs are kinda tight in there. But I know in the Russ stuff plans, if I remember right, he had actually milled the saddle down so that he didn't have to take so much off of the, uh, the ball net. So I will uh, cut this one short here and start with the other parts. I'll probably do them uh, one, two, three for each axis. Although if you wanted to lift this saddle off, there's a uh, another screw right there, which is Probably gonna be another five millimeter. Yeah, so that's five millimeter. So if you want to take soft paint or whatever else, you need to take this screw and this screw off, and then this. Uh, actually, I spoke too soon. There's some screws on the back that I think that are holding it on. Yeah, so there's another bar. So you have to get on the. So you have to get on the back side here to get this whole thing off. I guess the other option is to take your tail stock off and just slide it off. I don't plan on painting anytime soon um, just because I don't have the room and before I even start making chips on this I need to make some sort of blast or uh, chip shield so I don't get it on my car. So, all right, so I'll cut this one short and I'll uh, get to work on the other parts. Thanks for watching.